What's up, everyone? We're back. I'm Dr. Shaw, Dr. Maxfield. And welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee, where we talk about all things skincare and dermatology. This is a very unique video, a video we've never done before. I recently traveled to Japan, very interesting country. So I was in Tokyo, I was in Kyoto, I was in Osaka, and now I'm back. And of course, I had to shop Japanese skincare there. Now, I have very strong opinions about the products that I purchased. I really went to look for the ones that were the most viral, the top selling products in Japan, and I brought them home. Dr. Maxfield has not tried these products. So I'm gonna have him try them for you live so that he can experience what I experienced, and I'm gonna give my opinion. Now, the caveat here is I have no idea what's in any of these products. I've looked up some of the ingredients. I'm pretty sure everything has fragrance. So I wouldn't necessarily say that these are strong recommendations from me, but I just wanna talk about texture, feel, the experience of these products, and whether or not I like the way that they feel. Oh, right, see, I'm excited. So I actually was gonna text him before he left and say, hey, well, I but I know he's busy, and so I didn't think he'd bring anything back, but he did, and he's gonna share it with me. So Dr. Maxfield tries Dr. Shaw's worldwide skincare. Here we go, here we go. First, before we get started, we wanna take a moment to shout out our sponsor, Better Health. They give us the opportunity to talk about something that we always talk about together privately, mental health. We've been through a lot, personally and professionally. For me, having my closest friends dying at a young age, which one day I'll talk more about, or the family and financial struggles, which I have talked a lot about, and then also the tremendous struggles of professional training. Many of my patients with different skin conditions, from acne to psoriasis, struggle with mental health issues, sometimes associated with the skin condition that they have, and then other times just mental health issues in general that they ask me questions about. And mental health is something that is super important and it's underserved. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy surface that is 100% online with licensed therapists who can help whether you're struggling with a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a fellow human who's going through a hard time. Therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a different way. Access to a licensed therapist is a major roadblock for getting care that most of our patients need and BetterHelp makes it easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist and finding the right therapist. It's a little like dating where if you feel like someone might be a better fit, you can easily switch, find that perfect connection, all with no additional cost and without stressing about insurance. Now, while you can change your therapist pretty easily through BetterHelp, I do think in relationships, we're not giving people long enough of a chance. You know, it's just on to the next one. This is unsolicited advice. Give your relationships a little bit more of a chance. BetterHelp, find the therapist you need if you have to move on to somebody better, it's easy to do so. There's a link in the description. It's betterhelp.com slash Dr. Lee. Clicking the link does help to support our channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Thank you, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. Now back to the topic at hand. All right, so first up, we're gonna talk about one of the most viral products in Japan. It's the Biore. Bior UV Aqua Rich Protection Lotion SPF 50. This was like in every store that I went to. This thing is everywhere. And then also it's like Companion, which is like the spray that you can use afterwards to basically reapply throughout the day. So I'm gonna have him try both of these products. Now this product, remember, this product is super viral. I'm gonna let you try it and then you give your opinion on this sunscreen. I'm pretty nervous actually because I'm allergic to something. Still don't know what it is because I think it's like in a blend somewhere, a proprietary blend. So it's watery, very watery, like too watery to stay in place. I did two finger lengths. It feels like it should be invisible. This was the wateriest, liquidiest, lightest thing I've ever felt. It looks invisible to me. It's invisible. It was so watery, it was kind of hard to get on my skin because it was just running through my fingers onto my pants, but I, I liked it. Now, the interesting thing, and I didn't realize about this product, is if you don't shake it, which of course, I don't, I, maybe there's some instructions to shake it somewhere, but I can't read Japanese, so, so I didn't shake it. Now, it separates if you don't shake it, so it's like, it's even worse. It's like clumps of white. I don't know if you've seen skincare products separate, but it's not a good experience. I felt a little clump of something as I was putting it on, but I thought, oh, I must have just had something on my skin. I like quickly, quietly brushed it off. It's pretty sticky. You're pretty dewy right now, I would say, yeah. with this. So super liquidy. The most liquidy sunscreen I've ever tried. To me, because it doesn't have that tack, it's harder to apply because normally I apply two finger lengths. That's mm -hmm. become my strategy. And you can't do that with this. Like you almost have to like apply it into your hand and like dab it onto the face. So my application technique doesn't work very well. It also has like a relatively strong fragrance. It's almost like a fresh kind of fragrance. So I didn't hate this product, but I really didn't love it the way that like everyone had loved it. 
And then of course I was like, well, I got to reapply. Cause first of all, it was literally a hundred degrees every day that I was in Japan. So I'm reapplying throughout the day. I'm like, I could barely breathe. I picked this thing up and I'm like, you know what? Like a spray. I like this combo. The reapplication sprays, I think are becoming more common. And I am, I, I'm a pretty big fan of that just for, purely for practicality. So hold my breath, close my eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> So it really grips pretty well, actually. The spray <laughs> grips more than the lotion. The reason I say that is because a way that people go wrong with sprays is they don't rub it in. Like I've seen a lot of weird sunburns this year, just like speckled, drippy sunburn spots because people aren't rubbing in their sprays. It's okay. It, it's weird that it grips so much for a spray in my mind. I'm assuming it's completely invisible because it's invisible already. Uh, smell. I like the smell. That's subjective. I just think it's nice. It's okay. What was your take on this one? Well, I had sort of like the first thing where I primed it also and it sprayed me right in the face. It was like very strong alcoholy smell right I've, at first. Compared to some I've tried recently that were literally like spraying vodka on your face, this I didn't flinch with this one, but yeah, a little bit of an alcohol smell. Does have fragrance from what I can smell in it. I'm not sure about the ingredients. I did like this as a reapplication and it does dry pretty quickly and that's probably because of the alcohol and it does have a little bit more of a tack to it. Like it's, you know, like it, it's a little bit more mattifying uh, than even this water gel is. So I didn't hate it, also didn't love it. I'm looking for the perfect spray. I haven't found like the perfect reapplication spray, but this one's pretty good overall. So I would recommend this actually over this one. Let's see what else we have. All right, so the next product, I don't think anyone's ever heard of this product. It's called Shiro Fragrance Matcha Scrub Shampoo. Now you're not gonna be able to try it in this video, but I was walking through the store and I saw this store with like very beautiful packaging. You know, it was like all white, matte, very clean looking. So I said, you know what, this place looks pretty cool. So let me see what they have. So I tried out a bunch of stuff and then they showed me this product and I was like, wow, okay, this seems intriguing. Let me buy it. And you used a lot of it. Whoa. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Let me describe this to you. I'm just like basking in this without sharing it, I suppose. So this is, let's crystalline. It's like a liquid crystalline, heavy, the smell. So it says fragrance, which you know he's a huge fragrance your person. I think that's the funniest thing that he bought the fragrance. It just says fragrance. <laughs> um, but, but it's a scrub too. So right, so this is like a mechanical scrub for your hair, your scalp, in addition to being like a functional shampoo. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I love this product. <laughs> like I'm obsessed with this product. And as you know, I try to avoid fragrance in all things. There is a sensorial, it's almost like a sugar scrub because when you're actually using it in the shower, I don't know that it has sugar in it. I don't know what's in this thing. Like I said, I don't know what's in any of these products. Just We need to continue to caveat that. But the experience, the fragrance of it, scrubbing it into your scalp at the end of a day where you were just walking around Japan all day, like brought it home and I actually still use it pretty frequently. Mm. And you know what's troublesome with my hair is that I use a lot of product in my hair. If I don't shampoo my hair like three times in a row, I still will come out and have like almost a residue on my scalp. Yeah, no doubt. You, so I tried Dr. Shaw's hair product. I hate it. It doesn't look like it, but it's gluier than glue so much so that it's very difficult to even get in your hair. So that doesn't surprise me a bit. This product, like it, it really f makes your hair feel so clean without like overly drying or stripping your hair. So I think I'm going to try more scalp scrubs because I just love the experience of it. So highly recommended Shiro Fragrance Matcha Scrub Shampoo. I don't even know if you could buy it anywhere in the United States, but if you're anywhere else, try this product thing is phenomenal. I'm going to get this too. Go wash your hands. Yeah, go wash my hands. <laughs> Next up, this is the Shiseido Clear Sun Care Stick. SPF 50, PA++++++. Synchro Shield, Wet Force plus Heat Force. Very water resistant sunscreen, according to them. Now the thing about this, Shiseido sells this one in the United States as well, so you can get this pretty much anywhere. But I picked it up specifically in Japan. I don't know if the formula is any different. I've used a lot of sunscreen sticks lately. Feels heavy, but it's not. And then like, if, you, if you move your face around after you apply sunscreen, then you can really feel it if you feel it. I like it a lot. And here's why I like it a lot. The thing I've noticed with a lot of the Asian sunscreens, I've bought almost, at least all the water resistant sunscreens I could find from Korea at least. And the problem is to make it water resistant, it seems like none of the Korean filters are water resistant because they add zinc oxide or titanium to all of them. And basically you're just left with a hybrid sunscreen, not unlike anything you have here in America. If this is water resistant, it's not zinc based, it's not titanium based. And that's a new novel sunscreen for me that I would use consistently. I like it a lot. Invisible, spreads really easily, super easy to apply. I really like this, especially on vacation for reapplication. Sun sticks in general, 
regardless of this product. What I've grown to love about them is that I don't like to touch my face when I've been out all day. And when you have to reapply sunscreen, and it's always difficult when you're traveling, and I don't know, maybe I'm like OCD or something. I feel like I need to wash my hands before I would apply sunscreen to my face. And it's always difficult to find a bathroom when you're traveling. These sticks just make it like you can just pull it out, reapply, no matter how hot, no matter how sweaty you are, doesn't matter, you can just soup, you can reapply this really easily. So I've really liked the convenience of this. I like this product a lot. Now it is fragranced again, cause I can smell it, but the application spread I use this a lot when I was in Japan for reapplication, so. I don't know what it is about kids and sticks versus lotions. They prefer sticks, at least it seems generally kids seem to do well. This, if again, fragrance sensitive skin pending, like this could be a really good option for children, especially that it is water resistant, very water resistant in fact. Um, I'm going to probably give this a good try next summer for surf season as like a primary. Put it on thick, see how it does. I love it. Shiseido, very reputable brand, so you can count on what they're making here. So let's see what the next one is. This is the Anessa Perfect UV Sunscreen Mild Milk SPF 50, specifically for sensitive skin. How did I find this one? This one was on every billboard in Japan. Like I was influenced. I was like Anessa, like it was everywhere. It was everywhere, like massive billboards in Tokyo. So I was like, I gotta find this Anessa sunscreen. I found it. I just wanna smell it first. <laughs> Everything smells the same now. That scalp scrub smells so good. I'm not even kidding. This one has got more body as far as the sunscreen lotion. Higher I, viscosity. Viscosity, sure. Higher viscosity. Thank you, scientist Shaw. I like it. I think so texturally, it's got a very creamy, soothing feel. It is very lightweight. I'm wondering about the blend. It's not grainy, but it, yes, it is like grainy, that matte. So. It's like almost like a, like a little grit to it. I don't, I don't know what you call that texture. Same exact thoughts in terms of texture. I feel like it's leaving a very dewy residue though. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, very dewy. You have to work it in a little bit yeah. more than the one from Biore. I don't see any cast at all though. So yeah, I, it's good. I think this is for the person who wants a little more dewy skin like they want their skin to feel hydrated glossy like the donut like people like so that's who i think is going to love this one for someone with oily skin i don't think this is going to be a win first of all i think it has fragrance in it even though they told me at the store that it didn't i'm pretty sure it does because i can smell yeah. it throughout the day i found that it started to become more mattifying so i don't know if it has something in it that's like absorbing oils throughout the day it like went from dewy to matte pretty quickly and i think that's that like grit that we're feeling in it didn't love it despite all the billboards to be honest i like the shiseido stick better still kind of mixed on this biore one but i didn't love it it ended up being the one that i used as my first application because it was the one that i had during the day but i didn't i didn't fall in love with this sunscreen i agree aesthetically i don't know what it is i just that's just preference you may love it, it does have a weird balance of like grit greasy now you're telling me it's going to mattify over time it's just a weird combination yeah all right so let's see our last i saved the best for last this is the number one selling product in japan right now at least when i was there this is the can make tokyo mermaid skin gel uv plus this is an spf 50 for the face and for the body this thing was everywhere in their like equivalent of sephora this was number one selling product. So I'm kind of excited. We've talked about this sunscreen in another video. I happen to have the OG. And in the comments, after I thought we talked about the sunscreen, because I love the OG formulation. I do, it's a little crusty, obviously it's cold. Um, it's super lightweight, maybe slightly fragranced, very slight. But I really do love this, this sunscreen. However, in the comments, some of you had mentioned that they've changed the formula. And I'm very excited to try the new one. That's all I get. It's very different. It's completely different. So I was really excited when this thing came out because it's greenish and I have a little baseline redness. So I thought the green would balance out my redness. I was thrilled about this purchase. Put it in a weird spot, so. Mm -hmm. Go into the facial hair a little bit. Okay, so the previous one is just, it's obvious it's invisible. It like carried the sunscreen name. Uh, where did I put my phone? Oh geez. What? What happened? This sunscreen is absolutely awful. I'm not even joking. It's probably one of the worst sunscreens I've ever tried in my life. Extremely disappointed in this purchase. I don't know what was going on. It's very green clumpy. It leaves a terrible like green white cast. I don't know who like, 
Maybe if you have like a super light skin tone, it could look better on you. But if you have any tan at all, this thing leaves a terrible, terrible white cast. A white green cast. It's even worse That's... than a white cast. How do you step back like that? I mean, okay, let me just do the other they're side. They're not even the same. Like they're not even the same color. Like one's pink, one's yellow and the other one's green. It's mm -hmm. like a totally different product. And I'm, a, I'm with Dr. Shaw. Like if I see a green tint in a product, I kind of like it because a lot of people develop a red hue over time, whether from rosacea or sun damage, it's a common endpoint. So I don't know. Like you can probably tell, maybe not. No, I think you're stuck now with this first one. I think you're gonna have to wash your face. That's fine. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the, I, I got a bunch of other products too, like different cleansers, but they were like too big to bring to North Carolina to Dr. Maxfield. So there were other products that I like. Maybe I'll link some of those below, but these are the highlighted ones that I wanted to show him. What was your favorite product? Ooh, was well, not this one. I'm between the sunscreen stick and the scalp scrubs. It's two different products. It's like the one I'll actually use consistently for the sunscreen stick. And then it's the sensorial spa-like shower experience in the hair one. But I'll, I'll go with the sunscreen stick because that's something I'll use on the go. We'll have you try this, this uh, scrub today in the shower so nice. you can get the full experience. Shower video coming soon. <laughs> That's special. Okay, so thank you all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want us to review next. All right, we appreciate you. Thank you as always. I shower with my clothes on. It's in all my videos. I, I'm kind of suspicious that throughout the day, I'm going to have... So the good thing skin. is so that... Cap. I'm going to break this off. The good thing is, it's a okay. dress cat. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it looks like there's a hinge. It looks like there's a hinge. All right, I saw you shake this already. It looks like it needs to be shook. Hold my breath, close my eyes. <laughs> I don't know which direction. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> what was that? That was not, that was not pleasant. Hold on, let's try again. Okay. <laughs> so I think part of that was just, it was clogged up in the, um, clogged up in the, I don't know, the little hole there just from sitting in your case. Okay. This product, and I don't know that I want you to use it on your face because I still use it on my face. Well, or maybe use it on your hand. My face, how is my hand dirtier? No, how is my face dirtier than my hand? I don't know. I guess you could use it on the face. Hold that. You didn't blend it in completely. Should I have to work this hard for a non-American sunscreen? I feel like we're spoiled with the other options. If it was, you know, like an American mineral sunscreen, I'll rub my face to death. But um, sometimes I feel like you don't have to.